Lion Living Live. We are in the kitchen with executive chef Cody Harris from Thirsty Lion. She is making some dishes on the lighter side for us. It smells delicious already. It looks even better. We're going to start out with pomegranate spinach and pancetta salad with pomegranate vinaigrette. All of my favorites. Spinach, pomegranate, vinaigrette. It looks delicious, but you're saying it's nutritious as well. It is. Pomegranates are full of antioxidants, which you need to fight off that flu that we're going through. Oh, yes. Um, spinach, always good. The iron. And you always have to have bacon. Have of some course. Stuff. you got to have some my bacon. God, that just keeps everything guts. moving. There you <laughs> go. Going. So how do you, put, how do you put this together? Well, first we're going to start by um, making the garnish, actually. Um, we're going to take a little bit of goat cheese. And I have made it into a little one-ounce portion here. Oh. Just formed it. Okay. I'm going to just put it in some beaten egg. This is just two eggs that have been beaten up. We're going to coat it. And then we're just going to throw it into the macadamia nut panko and kosher breading just mm. slightly tapping on it not to smash the cheese gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan for those who haven't had goat cheese what does that taste what does it taste it's very like? creamy okay but tart and it's going to blend very well with the sweetness of the pomegranate, the saltiness of the pancetta. I think we sometimes get into a routine, you know, yeah. we just use the same kind of uh, cheese. Over we're afraid, and over. yeah, we're afraid to kind of experiment. So we're just going to put that right into the skillet. And all you want to do is get that cheese nice and warm and nicely browned on the outside. And while that's going on, we move our bowls out of the way. All right. We want to move the, you want to move the goat cheese as well? Absolutely. Okay. We're just going to start. We have just a mixing bowl. We're going to put in some of our fresh spinach oh, that we've just taken the stem off of. Mm -hmm. This is radicchio. Um, it is actually a chicory, an Italian chicory to go with our Italian bacon. Um, we just take a few leaves of this, just peel it right off and throw it in. I'm helping you here. Okay. And you just throw it this right is, in. Just, just right in like fresh. that. This has a very bittery taste to it, but okay. also a very spicy bite to it. So it's going to go well with the sweetness once again and the saltiness of the bacon. Love that. So we put some of that in. We're going to add some of our candied pecans. Give it a little crunch. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in our pomegranate vinaigrette, which we've made with extra virgin olive oil, a fresh egg, some pomegranate juice, some agave syrup coming oh, from the sweetness, sweetness right. of that. And uh, we're just going to mix up the salad after that. Wow, and it really is really yeah. fresh ingredients. It is. And, I, and you make it your is. own vinaigrette. Oh, you do that we make everything. Very it simple. Is. And what can folks expect at the first line if they if they stop at the pub? Well, you're going to find a vast array of different menu items from a sushi bar to a wood-fired pizza to burgers to steaks. I love to everything it's underneath. Food there it's as comfort well. food, but we make everything with beer and alcohol and <laughs> make it taste delicious. Exactly. And there's a lot of folks here who mm -hmm. are frequent uh, the Thirsty Lion, yes, so it is, yes. it is a lot of I've fun. I've seen a few of you yeah. regulars running around the studio. And how many locations in the valley? Just one right now, but we're hoping for another one All right. very soon. So we're going to check our little goat's crouton. It seems to be browning very nicely. So we're just getting it soft, you were saying. Right, earlier. you just want it to melt. Mm -hmm. You don't want the cheese to explode out of the pan or anything like that. We're just giving it some nice brownness. And what if you're allergic to nuts? Can you do the goat cheese? You can do it else? straight with just a panko breadcrumb. Okay. That's a Japanese breadcrumb. You can find it anywhere in the stores next to your flowers Wonderful. and everything else. So we've mixed our salad with the candied pecans. We're now going to, uh, we have cooked off our pancetta very crispy and rendered all the fat. So we've taken all the bad out of it. <laughs> that looks lean we're just and gonna, We're just going to chop that up and into this little has a, cubes. this has a bite to it as well. It does. It's a little zippy. So we're just going to cube that up. I love your adjectives. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great zippy. It's we're great. just going to place that right over the salad. Then we're going to just take some of our pomegranate seeds, which I love. I always got a pomegranate I in my stocking at Christmas agree. and I loved it when I, I was agree. a kid. So we're just going to garnish it with a little bit of that. And then we're just going to take our goat cheese crouton, fresh off of the pan, and mm -hmm. right on the top. And a lot of people, again, would maybe never think to pair pomegranate seeds or pomegranate with a salad. They, you know, exactly. you've got to spit the seeds. And, and it is a winter down. fruit, and we tend to eat less salads in the winter than right. we do in the summer. So this is a nice way to integrate some nice winter fruit. Looks delicious. In with our. Uh, I absolutely love this, and and it's wonderful because everything, again, fresh. You're talking about the fresh absolutely. spinach. You're talking about uh, this. It, Radicchio. Radicchio, which is not used very often. A lot no, of people not. shy away from it. And this. you don't ever want to eat a salad that's completely radicchio. It's right. very, very bitter. bitter but, so. so it's going to contrast well inside of our salad. I love it. Well, we're going to dig into this. And Executive Chef Cody Harris, you were saying that you guys at Thirsty Lion are mm -hmm. very big into recycling. We are. We're an Oregon-based company, so we come from the land of recycling. And we've now set up that we have all of our glass and all of our cardboards and everything like that sent off to recycling. I just added another recycling. Yeah, bin, no, so. I love that. I love that. And, you know, and coming up, you're going to be preparing a macadamia nut mahi mahi for yes. us but we also uh, had a chance of uh, staying on the on the environmentally conscious tip i had a chance to
a composting, a valley composting facility. And, you know, it really shocked me to learn how much food we Americans toss out each year. Yeah.